Here we've got a couple of multiple choice questions. We're asked to complete each statement below. Let's consider them one by one. First one, the graph of the function y equals two to the power of negative x is identical to the graph of the function y equals two to the x. And then we've got three options that we can choose to finish off this sentence. It could be a reflected in the x-axis, b reflected in the y-axis, or C, rotated 180 degrees around the origin. Well, in order to figure out this question, it's good to recall what our rules are regarding uh, rotating and reflecting functions. And I've written them below here. So the rules are to reflect a graph in the x-axis, replace y with minus y. Alternatively, to reflect a graph in the y-axis, replace x with minus x. And to rotate a graph 180 degrees around the origin, replace x with minus x and replace y with minus y. So what's happened here? Uh, well, here this blue function is similar to this orange function, except the orange function, it looks like the x has been replaced with a minus x. So here we had y equals 2 to the power of x, whereas in this one we have y equals 2 to the power of minus x. So here x has been replaced with minus x, which means that this orange graph is identical to this blue graph, except it's been reflected in the y-axis. So what we can do is we choose b here. It's been reflected in the y-axis. And we've done number one. Okay, what about number two? The graph of the function y equals negative two to the power of x is identical to the graph of the function y equals two to the x and then we have these same three options. So here, if we originally look at this, we might say, well, this is a bit strange. It doesn't look like the x has been replaced with minus x, and it doesn't look like y has been replaced with minus y, and it doesn't look like this third option either, that both have been replaced, that x has been replaced with minus x and y has been replaced with minus y. Have what we need to do is we need to uh, multiply both sides by minus one in order to get it into a clearer form. So if we multiply both sides by minus one, what we get is minus y equals two to the power of x, because a negative times a negative is a positive. So this times by minus one equals just two to the power of x. And then it becomes clear that this orange function is the same as this blue function, except the y here has been replaced with minus y. Note that we had to multiply both sides by minus one in order to, to make that quite clear. So sometimes when you're facing functions, if you're not quite sure what to do uh, with regard to whether they're reflected in, in which axis, multiplying both sides by minus one is sometimes a good way to figure it out. So here we have that, uh, that, that y has been replaced with minus y. Now x has not been replaced with minus x. That, this is the only change. Consequently, when we replace y with minus y, we reflect a graph in the x-axis. So here, we're going to choose reflected in the x-axis. So we found that the graph of the function y equals minus two to the x is identical to the graph of the function y equals two to the power of x reflected in the x-axis.